over the world. Van life has exploded as a movement. Today, we're about to meet a couple of world travelers who have taken an old ambulance and turned it into a remarkable house on wheels. G'day Michael. Hi Bryce. Good to meet you. Nice to see you. Hi Hannah, how Hi. are you? Good, good, how are you? This van is so cool. What a great project. I'm glad you like it. What was it that actually made you guys want to convert a van like this? Uh, we are looking for a van to travel around, around New Zealand and we're looking for a longer van. We can store the surfboard inside rather than outside. And we wanted to have a little bit more comfortable event than squeezing in a sedan car. Yeah, fair enough too. You're in New Zealand, surfing is definitely a priority. Where are you guys from originally? Uh, we are originally from Czech Republic. And uh, yeah, we travel for a couple of years now. Great. So how long have you actually been here in New Zealand? Uh, we're here almost a year. We arrived in November last year, so we've got about one and a half months to go. So what was the process of converting the van like? Well, we bought the van. It, uh, it used to be an ambulance. So it took us uh, quite a lot of, it was quite a lot of effort to convert it. Uh, so we stripped all the fiberglass out and uh, built it inside with uh, more natural materials like uh, wood and, uh, and um, yeah. Now just looking over there, I love what you have done with the herb garden and the dashboard. That is such a clever idea. Yeah, we both like cooking and it was uh, kind of convenient to have our fresh herbs uh, uh, by hand. So yeah, we decided that space is usually filled with clutter and mess so we just move that away and uh, use the area for growing the herbs there's enough sunlight and you see if you need to water them because they are you know on your side all the time probably a good air freshener when you're driving as well yeah well especially once you drive in on the grid roads and unsealed roads the bumpy road makes the mint shaken and it makes the air fresh and and it's actually natural air freshener i think everyone should do that in their cars instead of chemicals what a cool idea. Well, should we have a look inside and uh, see what you've done? Of course, well, come in. Come in. Great. So welcome in our home. This is lovely. All of this woodwork is brilliant. Did you do all this? Yes, well, we've got a solar power mounted and uh, we have a power tool. So we've got all the plywood ourselves and all the decoration has been made uh, at Fab Lab in Christchurch on their laser cutter. Wow, that just brings so much character into it. I've never seen this kind of detail before. Yes, well, I think we got a little bit carried away with it, but uh, we really enjoyed working on it, and um, by the end of the day, it's our home for a year. You've got a really good sized kitchen in here for a van, don't you? Yes, well, we've got a proper stove in here and uh, oven as well, so it's quite convenient to make a good lamp shank whilst you camp in. Uh, and you get envious uh, other campers so you can share with them. I bet there's not too many other campers that are sitting there making lamb shanks. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And we've got our van uh, self-contained certified, so we've got the runny water and uh, plenty of storage uh, for our food. Right. And using the herb garden and fresh vegetable, we can pretty much cook anything in here. Great, so being self-contained, that means you're not reliant on any kind of infrastructure. You don't need to be plugged in, don't need water hookups. Especially in New Zealand, if you're self-contained, you can stay on uh, many free campsites, which are on remote locations, and it uh, um, means you have your toilet, and uh, you, you're pretty much allowed to go a little bit wilder than you would be. So what about refrigeration? Uh, we've got a wee small fridge ah. here, and uh, it's enough for a couple of beers, some supplies, and steak and it's all powered by a solar panel so we've got a 120 watts solar panel and three batteries right. which uh, give you enough power to be off grid for a while excellent so 120 watts that's not a huge solar panel how do you find that um it's actually enough uh there's it's about 70 watt uh fridge and we've got a few other appliances and a water pump uh, and I'm running a laptop and camera and it's been very good. We've got a one uh, house battery, deep cycle battery, and there are two uh, car batteries. So the deep cycle battery gets actually charged uh, through a split charge relay from the main batteries, from the alternator. So whilst you drive in, you charge your battery as well. And that holds enough power for being of great uh, for weeks. 
So what about the brains of the operation, the solar controller and all that stuff? Where's that yes. hiding? Uh, we've got a solar charge controller here and all the fuse box. So each appliance has own fuse. So if something happens, you can just change the fuse here conveniently rather than looking for an issue. And that's just, again, so nice how you've enclosed all of that with all of the etching and the laser cutting. It's just brilliant. Yeah, we just wanted to keep things tidy and uh, yeah, tidy up with the ropes. And as I say, I prefer the natural uh, materials rather than uh, fiberglass. And you've got the sink there as well that's just operating on a pump, is it? Yes, uh, it's, uh, we've got a clean water and grey water containers and normally sinks are operated with a switch on the top but we found it much more convenient when you wash it up you want to turn the water on and off so we put a switch on the feet and then you can actually turn it off and on uh, when you use in the water or not so even if you're brushing your teeth or washing up the dishes then you can just turn the water on and on if, when you need it. Excellent and how much storage do you have in here? Um, well we've got this is kind of the kitchen area so we've got plenty of storage for our food and our cutlery so we've got a plenty of storage under the bed as well and we store our clothes here on the top it used to get very hot through this compartment but the clothes now serve as an insulation right. so it stops the heat and coming from the cabin towards here and so then over here we've got your lounge sleeping dining everything else area yes, this is our living room and this is our bedroom in the same time uh, it depends on the conversion uh, we are quite short, so it's a plenty of space. We had uh, six people around here for dinner uh, comfortably, or quite comfortably. And uh, yeah, so that's where we hang out during the day here. And uh, Anna's the best to convert it into the bed later on. Yeah, you can quite easily fold um, the bed and put the mattresses um, just on it and have the nice, nice bed here. So you see that you guys actually have a chessboard on here as well? Yes, well, you can open the table and it becomes a chessboard and we've got uh, custom pieces made for, for the van, so you can quite uh, play chess here. Van table with a built-in custom chessboard. That is really, really neat. And what about through these doors here? What's through there? There is a compartment to store a wet wetsuit and our hiking gear. So imagine you come from your hike and you have your wet hiking gear on and you don't really want to come inside your living room and bedroom and take your wet gear off. So you can enter the van from the back door and take your wet gear outside and leave it there hanging to dry and you still have your dry comfortable living room. But it's as well a toilet. So, so it's part of the bathroom. Excellent. So you can actually easily access the toilet in a separate compartment, even when the bed's made? Yes, exactly. And so what about showering? Uh, we don't have a shower here, but we are using the solar-powered um, shower. Right. And we can shower outside. There's uh, sun pretty much all the time, so it's not a problem to heat up the water and take a shower outside with a solar shower. So how have you guys been finding van life? Is it, is it easy for you to live in a van? I was a little bit worried at the beginning when we bought the camper um, how it will be to live one year in such a small place, but um, I love it. Great. Yeah, it's the best way of living. You travel and then you take your home where, with you anywhere you go. And because it's so comfortable to live here, uh, we really enjoy it. We love it. Have you found that living really simply in a van like this has influenced what you're looking for in a, in a home? Uh, I think totally we quite like simple way of living and we really want to be close to nature hence our choices of the materials and choices of uh, places where we want to stay uh, so I think certainly we want to stay close to nature. Can I be really cheeky and ask what this project cost? Um, our guesstimate is we spend about 15k uh, including the van uh, on this but there's uh, hundreds of hours, maybe thousands of hours of work and you know, labor doing uh, all this stuff. I bet, because all of that detail really, really shows. And for $15,000, this is actually a really spectacular result. This is a very functional home, as well as a van, as well as an adventure mobile, as well as a seriously cool way to spend a year in another country. Yes, um, yeah, we, we quite like adventures, so now you can see the surfboard store here, but we had a kite surf in the back and two snowboards and fishing gear and uh, slack line. And you mentioned it, you know, we had uh, so many toys so to many play toys. with. 
I guess for a lot of people when they're contemplating the idea of moving into a van, the big question is where do you park it? How have you guys found finding a place to park it every night? I think being self-contained self -contained is a huge advantage. Uh, there are a few websites and uh, mobile apps which help you to find the campsites and it's usually good to contact local city council, they give you some advice where you can park and uh, we found that it's every 10 kilometers very much you can find a free place to park legally once you once you say self-contained. Is there anything that you've really struggled with living in the van? Um, not really. I don't think so. <laughs> No, um, well obviously we cannot have a big garden, I think that's one of the downsides. Um, our roof is fully utilized with solar panel and roof window. Um, I was con considering growing vegetable on the roof, that was my original plan, but uh, because we have a solar panel there it's not possible. So we have only the herb garden and we can't really grow our own vegetable, which would we really like to do. Uh, so I think that would be one of the key reasons to move. Uh, in one place so we can have a chicken and, and vegetable garden. What about your relationship in the van? How have you found living in such close proximity to one another? Um, I think we cope quite well, especially Hannah copes quite well. So. <laughs> <laughs> because we are quite a lot of out, you know, outdoors, uh, we're not just sitting in the van all the time. We spend a lot of time outside, either you know, surfing or hiking or mountain biking, so um, yeah. But we are much, we are much closer. We are much closer than we've met. To each other, yeah. <laughs> well, this van is a very impressive project. I love all of the woodwork in here. You've packed so much character and art into this place. I don't know how you guys are going to feel leaving this in a month's time. Uh, it will Aww. be very emotional. Uh, she's part of the family now and, um, well, we have to move on. That's part of the, you know, way of traveling and if you if you're a traveler you cannot have your possessions so we're going to pack into two backpacks again and keep traveling around the world hopefully we will find a good new family for her i'm sure it won't be too hard to find somebody else that will love this van as much as you both do thank you so much for showing me around this is a thank real you. treat thank you Taking something as utilitarian as a van and turning it into a really comfortable full-time home is no easy task. Michael and Hannah have done a really exceptional job with fitting this van out though. And actually, it makes me want to hit the road myself. <laughs> <laughs>